Welcome to Round Bear Game C++ tutorial. This is a prep course for people that want to become game developers. If you have no experience, that's fine. If you have some experience, that's fine too. I designed this course to be able to help people understand what it takes to become a 2D or 3D game developer. I'm using Windows 10 and in order to write my code, I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. Just Google Visual Studio 2019. Click on the download link. We're going to be using the community version. This is free. Click on free download. Wait for it to start. Put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder and save. Going through the installation wizard should be easy, but just in case anyone's confused, I recorded myself doing it and I have all the links below. So let's move on. Once you're done installing, you click on your start menu, type in Visual Studio and you'll see this icon, Visual Studio Installer. Let's click on this. If you click on modify, you'll see a bunch of components, workloads, add-ons, whatever you call them. You'll see that I have a bunch of them installed already. For now, we're just going to be using this thing right here, desktop development with C++. So make sure that you have this checked and installed. And now let's actually open up our Visual Studio, Visual Studio 2019. Click on continue without code. This should open up my Visual Studio. First thing I would do is go to tools, options, under environment general, click on dark theme. I like the dark theme. And don't worry if you have a different layout, you can go to windows, reset window layout. This should give you the default look. You can also customize the toolbar here and you can also return to the default layout, reset toolbar anytime you want. And that's pretty much it. I mean, installing a Windows program should be a walk in the park. You shouldn't have any issues here. Just make sure that you have Visual Studio running. And starting from the next video, I'm going to start giving you your first homework assignment and everything else. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.